YouTube, what's going on, baby? It's your boy Ron Real, aka Double R, back in the building, back with another video, back with another damn banger. Today, we are continuing on with the second annual Cigar Madness Tournament. Another crazy, crazy matchup for you guys. We'll be smoking the number one seed, Monte Cristo A, and it'll be going up against the number four seed, Warped Don Ronaldo Corona Deluxe. This should be a great one here. You guys hang tight, stay tuned. You guys know every year I strive to put in cigars that may be a little more difficult for people to find, but they are still attainable. But I also want to get that, that energy and that excitement drawn in. I knew with the Monte Cristo A, this was going to be a cigar that most people have never seen. Definitely haven't seen a review of, so it was a no-brainer to put it in. Cuban Classic, you guys saw how well the Monte Cristo Number 2 did last year. Just incredible flavors. I'm feeling like with the age on this one too, it'll be very, very good as well. Just a really long cigar, as you guys will see. It's a really, really long cigar, I believe. Just over nine inches long, 47 ring gauge. But trust me, make no, make, make no mistake about it. Fantastic cigar. Number one seed, Monte Cristo A. All right, so we are here with this very interesting matchup today. We're gonna to be smoking the number one seed, Monte Cristo A, which is a Cuban Puro. And we will be smoking that up against the number four seat, the Warped Don Ronaldo Corona Deluxe. I figure we will start with the Cuban first. It should be a little bit milder of a smoke and it is also very long as you can tell from this coffin. This is the Monte Cristo number, or A, I'm sorry, not number. But very, very interesting cigar. This is technically the largest Cuban that is still in production. And when I mean large, it's not by a diameter of ring gauge, but just the length of the cigar. You guys, if you're familiar with my channel, you know I've reviewed A-size cigars before. Had the Opus XA, I've had the Liga Pravada A. Now we are smoking the Cuban. So we'll take it out, very long cigar. Nice cedar, mild cedar spice smell to it. Really nice. All right, we'll put all the dressings up. Keep it as a memento. It comes in a very nice box. Has your Habano stamp and everything up underneath it. So we'll put that off to the side. Now here you have some tight and visible seams. This is a very nice looking cigar. Not a lot of, yeah, it's got some tube to it, some veins. Just very nice looking, very long cigar. Could probably beat somebody over the head with it. Have a nice triple cap on this one. Go ahead and cut it and see what we got. Now I've set aside quite some time with this cigar. This should be easily a two and a half hour smoke at least. Probably gonna be towards three, so hopefully we won't be battling a terrible draw or bad flavors. As stated earlier, all Cubans represented in this tournament are at least two years old. This one this Cuban or Monte Cristo A is actually three. Not too much coming off the draw, but the draw doesn't seem like it's plugged, but a little bit on the tight side. We'll see how it goes though. All right, got us a good draw. I've always just been impressed with A-size cigars, how they just are able to get leafs to make a cigar this long. Nice cedar wood on it. A little bit of a spice too, but cedar and spice, black pepper is very, very faint on this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this cigar get heated up, see what it's gonna see what it's gonna be able to do. Come back with body flavor, strength, you know all that good stuff. So y'all hang tight and stay tuned. All right, so we're working our way through this Monte Cristo A. Draw has been very good, which is always a huge sigh of relief for me. Just 
especially with something this long just like please don't let it be plugged and please don't let me have to pull out the perfect draw to try to make this thing smokable draw has been really good burn line's not razor sharp but nothing i'm gonna have to worry about correcting flavors are starting to blossom some you're still getting some cedar the, there's a nuttiness that started to come around and also a very light creaminess kind of like a caramel taste almost not really intense on that it's just kind of really faint on the background but that nuttiness and that cedar and that cream and that creaminess on the mouth texture is kind of there it's really nice so far still getting a little bit of a black pepper in the undertone as well too so far i'm really enjoying this the problem for me is going to be making sure that this cigar stays enjoyable for the whole length of it because sometimes you're getting good flavors but this cigar is going to take a long time to smoke so it's definitely got to be some transitions or some stuff happening or this is going to become a very mundane cigar so i'll keep on smoking through this probably come back at the end of the first third right now everything is i'd say medium body medium flavor in the first inch and no strength at all so i'll come back at the end of this first third or if anything else is transitioning or changing so y'all hang tight stay tuned all right working our way through this monte cristo a as just fell off nice thick chunk probably about inch and a half close to two inches is long smoking time on this cigar really really good construction on this i'm very very pleased with this flavors are really nice still get a nice cedar there is a, still a nice caramel creaminess in there, especially on that, on that finish that's really nice. Black pepper still in there. All the flavors, though they're not crazy intense, they're just really, they're very easy to pick out for me. And they're really, you know, well melded together. They're just blended in perfectly. Very, yes, very nice. Still, I'm gonna say medium body, medium flavor still on the upper side of mild starting to kind of creep into medium as far as strength still no strength this is all flavor all complexity which thumbs up for me i i'm really really enjoying this one this is a good cigar i think for most people the, the hard things about this one is going to be a trying to find it no pun intended and b the length of time you just have to set aside quite a bit of time to smoke this cigar also wanted to mention that to you too forgot to mention the the build size of the cigar so 235 millimeters so if you measure that it's just a hair over nine inches so you're looking at nine and a quarter inches in length 47 ring gauge on this of course monte cristo cuban puro definitely uniquely cuban in the taste the creaminess the caramel flavor is really nice on this one too really enjoying this so i'm gonna keep on smoking and keep on enjoying i'll come back if there's anything that needs to be said y'all hang tight all right so we're working our way down in the second third of this monte cristo a this thing here is kicking ass, man, and taking names. Great performance by this cigar, especially with it being so large. Great flavor, still getting a lot of the cedar, some black pepper, a little earth is in there. That finish is still nice and creamy, still getting that little bit of that caramel flavor. The cedar that was kind of flowing along with it in the first part was more so along kind of a sweet cedar. Now it's kind of more going into a drying effect. Not bad, but just a different type of cedar, but really enjoyable. Burn line draw has been phenomenal on this thing. And the only other change I would note is now the strength is probably up to a good textbook medium. Nothing that's still really strong. Body and flavor for me is still around that medium or medium point too, but looks like they're going to slowly start trying to creep up, especially the flavor starting to kind of creep up into that medium to full area. But really, really enjoyable, man. Long smoke time on this. I'm probably a little bit over an hour now and probably looking at like a Robusto size cigar somewhere in there, maybe yeah about a robusto a little bit longer than a robusto so still plenty of smoke time trying to take my time keep the cigar cool so the flavors stay nice and full and not get washed out or not get bitter or anything so far really enjoying this so i'm gonna come back in a little bit if there's any changes or anything like that so y'all know what it is y'all hang tight stay tuned all right continuing on with this monte cristo a i'm telling you guys can see it for yourself this thing is performing like a dream this is a prime example of a cigar that's not very strong. For me, it has nice flavors, but there's not a lot of transitions going on, but the cigar is still completely enjoyable. The nuttiness has kind of come back to the forefront. Cedar's still there, but falling back in the little, you know, in the back shadows, so to speak. Finish is nice and clean. Starting to get a little bit of a cocoa powder. The creaminess is there, but lightened up a little bit. It's more of a cocoa powder on the finish. It's really, really enjoyable. Can even still taste it now. Nice long finish. Still for me, I'm, I'm gonna go medium to full on flavors. 
Low side of medium to full for body, still textbook medium for strength. This is a cigar that if you're not into strong cigars but still want something very enjoyable, this is gonna be it. But again, long cigar, so you gotta put aside some time. This is, this is taking a while to smoke, but flavors are good. I'm fully enjoying it, so it's not becoming a chore. Really enjoying this one. And again, for a Cuban to just be performing like this, especially with this size Vitola, gotta give it up. Nuttiness is real nice on this. All right, I'll keep on smoking. Probably when I come back, I'll give us some points and see what this Monte Cristo A is doing. So y'all hang tight and stay tuned. All right, we're kind of coming down to a close on this number one seed, Monte Cristo A. Again, performed beautifully, draw, burn, it's been spot on. Never had to touch a lighter on a cigar that's over nine inches long for a touch up a relight, phenomenal. Really, really enjoying the flavor. Still about the same. Low side of medium to full for body and flavor. Textbook medium on strength. Let's go ahead and score this thing. For flavor, I gave it an 18 out of 20. Great flavors on this thing. Just easily, easily, easily above average. Uh, gave the draw a 20 out of 20. The burn a 20 out of 20 again. Nine inch, over a nine inch long cigar. Never had to touch the lighter once. Got to give it up. Cuban as well. Complexity, I gave a 16 out of 20. Uh, nice flavors in there, just not, just especially in a cigar that long, I would have easily, it just not a lot of huge transitions going on, but there were some flavor swaps, so it was still enjoyable. Strength, I gave a 16 out of 22. Overall score on this is gonna be a 90 out of 100. Definitely an elite cigar. I believe you could buy these when you can find them in boxes of five, which I think is a perfect, perfect amount for these cigars not something you would want to probably have a, a bundle of 50 or 25 it's just a it's a really long cigar one of those cigars you got to set aside quite a bit of time to smoke me normally smoking more so coronas robustos lanceros things like that i usually like that hour and a half a little bit over an hour and a half and that's about as much time as i like to dedicate to one cigar this is the exception to the rule, just really enjoyed it. Cuban flavor, so you're getting different flavor profiles than what you normally are going to expect from like Honduras, Dominican Republic, Nicaragua, just a completely different flavor profile. Nice and creamy on this one, still getting some nice cocoa powder. This cigar here is a winner. Nothing else needs to be said. I think this is performed as a number one seed should, so I'm gonna continue on smoking this one all the way down to the nub. I don't see it really changing too much. Smoke staying nice and cool. Not very squishy, so this is gonna get enjoyed to the very last inch of this cigar. And then we'll jump over to this number four seed, the Warped Don Ronaldo Corona Deluxe, and see if it can't take out this number one seed, but I'ma tell you now, it's got his hands full, so y'all hang tight, stay tuned, and we'll get on this Warped Cigar and see if it can take on this number one seed. Y'all be good. All right, number four seed, what we're gonna be looking at, what uh, me and my good friend Mystical Gent call probably the new world's best kept secret. We have the Warped, Don Ronaldo and Corona Deluxe. I'm very excited about this cigar. Dominican wrapper, Nicaraguan binder, filler from Nicaragua and Dominican Republic. I tell people all the time, if you're a Cuban smoker and you're trying to get into New World cigars, you've got to get your hands on a Warped Don Ronaldo or Illusione Iprene. These cigars have a lot of cuban similarities. Flavors aren't the same, but they're very, what I mean by cuban is they pay attention to detail with flavor, not gonna overwhelm you with strength, a lot of complexity, just a great cigar. This is a four seed, but make no mistake about it, this cigar has the potential to go all the way make no mistake about it you're going to be hearing more about this Don or uh, Don Ronaldo by Warp trust me best kept secret all right excellent showing by the number one seat the Monte Cristo a fantastic cigar especially for the size very enjoyable but now we have to give our time to the number four seat the warped Don Ronaldo Corona Deluxe this comes in at a five and a half in length 42 ring gauge Dominican wrapper Nicaraguan binder has filler from, or I'm sorry, filler from Nicaragua and Dominican Republic. This cigar is one of the cigars rolled at the El Titan de Bronze factory in Miami. Huge fan of this one, wanted to get this cigar into the tournament. I feel like this is a cigar that's been out a while, but a lot of people just kind of overlook it, kind of like the Ghost Orchard, Skyflower. Warped is known for more kind of mainline things like the La Hacienda, Maestro Del Tiempo, but the Don Ronaldo, make no mistake about it, great cigar. So we're gonna go ahead and go into this one and smoke it. This has a very Cuban-esque look to it, very rustic, definite prominent veins, tight visible seams. There's some tooth there like a nice big single cap on top of it. 
Love these Corona size cigars too. These are perfect. This is something for me like a, the size of the cigar is something I'd walk around and smoke every day. I like these a lot. So we'll go ahead and cut it and see what we got. Great draw. Not too much coming off the cold draw. Kind of a hay, a little bit of a dry cedar. Soft spice. All right, so we'll see what we got. Already got a good light. Another thing I love about smaller ring gauge cigars, does not take a lot to get these things lit like some of your 60 ring gauge, big old 70, 80s, you just gotta sit there all day. I like these, you can get these pretty, or get these going pretty quickly. Nice earth hit, little black pepper. Great smoke output too. On that retro hill, starting to pick up like a real prominent oak wood on it too. All right, good start. We'll go through this first third. Y'all know what it is. Body flavor, strength, all that good stuff's coming up. So y'all hang tight and stay tuned. All right, so we're working our way through this Warped Don Ronaldo Corona Deluxe. Full on assault on the taste buds in a good way. This is incredible. Draw and burn have been very good. Picking up a little natural tobacco sweetness. There's a nice floral note in the retro hill. Good finish on this one too. It's very nice. Uh, it's a lot of flavors. Some of them I'm gonna have to sit down and, and concentrate and try to pick them out more. There's a lot going on, but you can tell it was very well blended together. This is a very good cigar, really underrated. Like I said just before, this is one of the warped cigars that I think a lot of people don't know about, but they need to start paying attention to. This is a phenomenal cigar. Already, I would say medium to full for body and flavor, and eh, medium for strength, but the body and flavor are already up there. They're, they're nice mouth coating, nice mouth feel. Just really, really enjoyable. I have no complaints. If it continues on like this, this is gonna be a very tough matchup, even for the Monte Cristo A, as well as it performed. This is gonna be a hard, hard matchup to pick. So, I'm gonna keep on sitting back and smoking and enjoying this. So y'all hang tight, stay tuned. We'll come back in this second third. All right, finishing up on this second third of this Don Ronaldo Corona Deluxe. Fantastic, it's gotten more nuttiness more natural tobacco sweetness still picking up a little floral on the retro hill this is a very complex blend there's a lot going on but you can tell they were very meticulous in how they lay leaves this is a very good cigar still medium to full for body and flavor textbook medium on strength perfect size this is just a great cigar you know i'm not even through this or scoring it yet but just saying off the record just in general if you're a warped cigar fan and you have not experienced the don ronaldo you've got to this is a box worthy cigar in my opinion bar none but really enjoying this i'm gonna keep on smoking construction has been spot on i'm gonna come back give us some points see if this number four seed can take down this monte cristo a eh? so y'all hang tight stay tuned and i'll let you know what we get all right so we're finishing up with this warp don ronaldo corona deluxe fantastic cigar this is gonna be a really tight race here i enjoy both of these cigars thoroughly phone died so i had to jot down my notes in my old school book so we'll let you know what the score is for flavor, I gave it an 18 out of 20 again. Easily above average flavor profile without question. 18 out of 20, very strong flavors, nice intensity. Ended up a nice medium to full on body flavor. Textbook medium strength for me, enjoyable all the way through. Gave the draw a 20 out of 20, burn a 20 out of 20. Of course, smaller ring gauge cigars typically burn well, but sometimes things do happen. This one performed perfectly. I gave the complexity an 18 out of 20. This is where this cigar shine. A lot of really well refined flavors, very smooth, but intense at the same time. Really, really enjoyable. Great, great blend. Like I said before, if you're a Warped fan and have not got a chance to smoke a Don Ronaldo, you're missing out. Strength on this one, I gave a 16 out of 20. Gonna give this cigar an overall score of a 92 out of 100. 
very very tight race both of these cigars were were phenomenal just had to give the slight edge to the warped i just had a little bit more enjoyment out of it than the monte cristo a but make no mistake about it this was a matchup this was a heavy hitter of a matchup number four seed takes down the number one seed it is what it is the warp is going to move on the monte cristo a is going home Great, great performance by the Monte, Monte Cristo A, though. Make no mistake about it. We got one more matchup left in the first round, and I think it's going to be probably the tightest race yet. We're going to hop back over to the eastern region, smoke the HBC 500. Tesoro going up against one of my favorites, the Bolivar Royal Corona. That should be a hell of a matchup, too. But on that note, thank you guys again for tuning in to this episode of Cigar Madness. Don't forget the name of the game is relaxation and enjoyment. And damn sure don't forget to be driven, never motivated. We'll catch you on this next one. Y'all be good.